Hey, what's up guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy Tab, doesn't matter if it's the Tab S7, Tab S5e, or the Tab A. I'm gonna show you how to screen, screen mirror wirelessly directly from your tablet to your JVC Roku TV. Now, the first thing to note is that this connection, it's a direct connection directly from the tablet to your JVC Roku TV. It has nothing to do with the connection from your um, home Wi-Fi network, just like if you guys are familiar with the Google Chromecast, you need a home Wi-Fi network that's connected um, to the same home the um, TV and the tablet has to be connected to the same home Wi-Fi network in order to connect. However, again, this is a direct connection. It's a Wi-Fi direct, okay? So first thing is let me go ahead and show you how to connect. Go ahead and grab your tablet. You want to slide down notifications, little horizontal line that appears here on the bottom slide down again and now you want to look for smart view you see my smart view is right here if yours is not on the first page here slide over if it's not on the first page here slide over again on my samsung galaxy tab um, s5e i think it's on the uh, third page but this here is the tab s7 anyway mine's on the first page here let me tap on smart view and now we should find my jvc roku tv Let's see here, right on top, 32 inch JVC Roku TV. Let me tap on that. And as soon as I tap on that, this message here pops up, start casting with smart view. Simply tap on start now. And now we should get a message that's gonna appear here on the bottom. And it says here, Galaxy S or Galaxy Tab S7 would like to cast video to your TV. You can click on allow, or if you do always allow, then every time you connect with the same tablet to your um, JVC Roku TV, this message here won't pop up, but I'm fine with this message here popping up, so I'll just click on allow. So give it one second here. You can see what's happening to the screen, that little thing down there. Just give it one second. Now you can see we're screen mirroring. The thing on the bottom is going to disappear in one second, but you can see we're actually mirroring. There we go. It's out now. And this is great for if you want to share like work documents or whatnot to the big screen or um, share photos and um, videos that you have stored locally on your tablet. So for example, let me go to my photos gallery here and I'll show you a quick photo here. Here's a photo. Let me zoom in and I can zoom in. I can go ahead and move this around as you can see. Okay, and also here's a video example. Here's a video right here. Press on play. Oops, there's no volume. Oh, let me play that again. Let's get the volume. One, two, okay, there we three. go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now, I mean, you can increase and decrease the volume directly from your tablet, but take note, the audio is actually coming out from the TV itself, okay? It's not coming out from the tablet. Now, if you want to go ahead and disconnect, simply sc scroll down the notifications again, and then slide down again where that little horizontal line is right here. Slide down. And then remember, before it said Smart View, but now it says because you're connected, it says the name of your TV. So mine says JVC Roku TV, 32 inch JVC Roku TV right there. So if I want to disconnect, I'll just whoop, tap on that, give it one second, and voila, we just signed off. Pretty simple. Good luck.